thank you for buying this public locker from Fixture Displays. This is the welcome screen as you plug it in. And this is the keypad. We're going to demonstrate how you would uh, use this locker uh, first as a user and then as the administrator. Assume you are a user walking up to the uh, unit and want to access a locker. Press in and 007 is automatically assigned being an available locker to this particular user. You're going to go ahead and put in any six digits password. In this case, we're putting six twos. OK that. And locker number seven opens. You can put your article in and then close the door. Now, as you are done with your business, you'll come back to, to retrieve your article. You'll simply click out and then put in your locker number, which is 07. You certainly need to remember which locker you uh, uh, used. Do OK and put in your password, which is six twos we just did. Now locker opens. You can retrieve your article and close the door. Now this locker returns to available status, uh, waiting for the next user to assign a new code to be used. It's fairly straightforward for a new user. And we're going to show you the admin panel, which is up arrow OK. And then you put in the administrator password, which is defaulted at 868. Uh, 888-888. It will give you the first screen. And then you have uh, the down arrow take you to the second screen. We're going to go back to first screen, go through area one, and then go to the second one. Remember, some functions are not available to this particular unit you are purchasing. Now we're going to look at the uh, option one, which is a single open. Assume a customer forgot his password, you need to open the locker. Say we put in locker one, for example, OK, and then the locker opens. You can close it. Option two allow you to uh, open all of the lockers or a range of the lockers. Now, number three and four is very similar to one and two. And number five and six is reverse of the one and two, essentially let you lock a locker out or lock everything out. Okay. Now we got just got timed out. We're going in again, up, okay, six eighths. Now we're gonna show you, you can set the time of the locker. Just follow the screen prompt, click okay, and then put in the year, um, month, and date, and click OK. Now number 10 right here shows zero. Allow you to set different time slots that you want to put the locker into operation. You can simply just leave that alone to be operational in, at all hours. Now number two here, allow you to enable or disable the slots you set. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to call us, 630-296-4190. Pressing down arrow takes us to the second screen of the admin panel. The first option, we're gonna put in 68, that allow you to register a long-term user. Oh, I'm sorry. The first option is changing your admin password. Now we're changing it back to 68 to be consistent. So number two is the charge setting. This particular locker does not come with the equipment for collecting coins or money. If you need to do so, contact us. Number three, allow you to enable or disable voice commands. And number four is uh, uh, long-term user setting. You can register a user. Uh, really, the usable function to this particular locker is number one and number one, using a password to assign a locker to someone for long-term use. So this individual would be able to use this locker for a long period of time until canceled. 
For example, we said select our locker number one. We're going to assign a password. Assume we do six twos. Now you will see number one becomes unavailable to other users. And this is as good as you want it to be. Now you can delete this user. I'm going to try 01 again. Now 01 returns to available status to all other users. Three and four aren't particularly useful. Uh, one and two should be sufficient for assigning a special user of any of those units. You can also email us at cs at fixturedisplays.com. This particular public locker you purchased has a code being 18349. You can search this item on our website, fixturedisplays.com. Search 18349 would allow you to purchase this again. When you have a power outage, and don't worry about that. We have a way to show you how to operate under those conditions, how to open the doors for your customers. You would open the control panel with these administration keys, and then toward the back end of the lock, there is a metal lever right there. As you pull, push it up, the door unlocks. This is a mechanical unlock mechanism to allow you to operate without power. And once power is restored, all the codes are still remembered. You can continue your business as usual. If you have any questions, let us know. CS the Charlie Sam at fixturedisplays.com.